Alright, so the new project is a mini ball peen hammer. It's probably going to end up being a little bigger than this, but if it's this size, that's good. starting to bend and get noodly. So what I think the problem is, it's too long to upset. So I'm gonna upset one side at a time. So I'm gonna get it hot again, quench one side, and then upset the other side, and then reverse that over again. for the drifting so far. Just gotta drift it one more time. But uh that's the so I'm gonna cut it off or forge it a little bit more. Okay, this is going to be the ball team. Damascus. The lines are going to go across. The hammer is forged. I'm going to grind off the, uh, the hammer part. The front part that squares is going to be rounded out to like a ball peen. What I'm going to use is this long piece of truck coil spring. Um, it's a little bit too long. I'll probably have to shave off maybe like two inches, but I'm going to do that when it's all done after I attach it to the handle because I don't want to short myself length on the handle because I'm trying to make it the same size as this one. I'm trying to re replicate this hammer, just Damascus and metal handle with, with wooden resin. Um, but I like the, the feel of this one. It's comfortable. It's, I think it's the actual perfect length hammer. It just feels right. So... I'm gonna squish the coil spring to this width, real thin, and then uh, put the wood handle on it. And then right here, it's just gonna remain that roundness of the coil. 
Um, I might square it. I'm probably going to try to keep it round, maybe like overly shaped. I don't know. But then when it gets up to here, I'm going to square it up. It's not going to be round. So it will fit snug through that, that punch hole. And then I'm going to peen the top of it and maybe throw a little bit of weld in the bottom just so it's for extra measures so, so it stays snug and tight on the coil spring and resin wood handle when it's off.
I'll keep an eye on it, but that's pretty much how it's going to be. It's hard on the ends, soft in the center, tempered in the middle. So I don't really have to oven it or anything. It's pretty black on the ends and doesn't look... Uh, the heat from here will spread out to there just a tiny bit. Just, just to temper it. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so I got the hammer here. Add a heat treat. Um, it's pretty hasn't temp been tempered, so I figured the welder and only quenching the ends and the oil until they got like super hardened. That had a little bit of a slight glow to it. Probably tempered it good. This is just gonna fuller temper it. Welding this. I, it's not going to get hot enough, I don't think, to to disrupt the uh, hardness of the ends of the hammer. If, if anything, it's going to help it to not like crack or, or break or anything like that. So I'm just going to run some weld on the top here and on the bottom. As you can see, I already pre-drilled the three holes here for when I get the, the handle material. <laughs> 